distinguished ladies and gentlemen As we really have a long way to go honestly speaking very very long way to go knowing fully well that Tinimbu is already recruiting more people that will help him win the case in court but regardless the message must be spread accordingly and whatever that needs to be done should be done with immediate effect you see on the alleged chicago certificate forgery by bola metinimbu just like i said yesterday that the court has already said that uh, their loyalty is to the u.s government no other person nobody's going to determine how they are going to run their country they can be loyal to a drug lord of course you know that u.s kick against against crime in their own land but you can keep committing crime in other people's land they don't care what they care about is that do not bring that do not bring that madness into their country they won't tolerate it they won't tolerate it at all so one of the funny thing here is that we must look into section 137 subsection j of what the constitution says and this is already one way that Bola Metinimbu is going to lose out. It doesn't matter how long he continues to struggle to fight his way in, he will definitely leave that seat for the right man. Now, the, the section 137, subsection J of the Constitution says that one cannot be the president of Nigeria if he has presented a forged certificate to the Independent National Electoral commission which is INEC. one cannot be so that is why i once asked the question when i was broadcasting i said why is tinimbu fighting the release of his certificate why is he doing everything possible to make sure that his certificate is not released he has employed over 12 lawyers to help him defend the certificate he has. And these people are coming up with more propaganda, trying to rub, rub it to our face that we are the ones who would not want to or who would want to look for more problems and more troubles. But everything is coming into the open because light and darkness cannot collude. So section 137 of subsection J of the Constitution says that one cannot be the president of Nigeria if he has presented a false certificate to the Independent National Electoral Commission. Number two, the issue is not whether Tinibu graduated from Chicago University or not. He may well have graduated from that, that university. university. Submitting a false certificate to INEC is key, not necessarily whether someone graduated from a school. So once they look at your certificate, they see some stains on it. Just know that as long as it is forged, there is no other way you can handle it. There's no other way. There is no other way you can handle it. The biggest, the biggest exposition should be done from the law. And that's where everything lies. That is where everything lies. So most people that first were ex actually sat for the exams and obtained their own certificates. So, how does a false certificate look? That's what you should ask yourself. How does a false certificate look like? How do, how do you forge a certificate for someone to target a false certificate? That is just the mood. So, Tinimbu can no longer deceive Nigerians because 
the days of the old people are gone. It's no longer business as usual. It's no longer business as usual. Facts must be presented the way it should. And everything must be kept the way it should be kept. And that's where the whole story has begun. <laughs> hey, Tinibu blaming unnamed Clark for forging his certificates is laughable indeed. He had all the chances of correcting that in the last 40, 44 years. He did not correct it. So what Tinibu is coming up with now is that he wants to start blaming an unnamed Clark, which funny enough, would end up jeopardizing the struggles. So Peter B is winning. And Chicago State University, I told you that the U.S. court is not Nigerian court where one person will put them in their pocket and control them as they like. No. The courts in the U.S. do not respect a rich man, do not respect a poor man. So Tinibu is now coming up, replying article or whoever that is demanding for a certificate that somebody was the one who forged the certificate, not him. So yeah, this thing is just laughable. It's really, really laughable and honestly, I don't even know what to say. Because at the long run, it is either it is done the way it should or it will be done the way it should not. Tinimbu is leaving that seat and nothing will happen. Everything is already on ground. Everything has been exposed. Everything has been brought before the court. Everything, line to line, Peter B is taking all his time to expose this man. So, nobody should blame Peter B if he decides to drop the case tomorrow. He has exposed everything for Nigeria to see. That the man they voted in is a drug leader. Was it, or is a drug lord, not even was. He is a drug lord, has dual citizenship, forged certificate, and the worst of it all is that he forged a certificate from external country, country that has to do US. He would have just gone to one of the Lagos University and they would give him certificate. Uh, he's in all the Jagaban. They will give him certificates. He will use it to run whatever he wants to run, but he, he, he was thinking that Nigeria is... You know, as usual, once he says he studied in Chicago State University, nobody will want to go and find out because of the distance. But Nigerians have woken up, and I love the wokeness. Thanks for supporting the future news. Peace.